Grr, reading some caffeine rage, and I'm back with more of Tron 2, the complete story. Last time, well, we started in the mushroom caves, and now we're continuing on. Oh, there's the earth shattering kaboom. Wondering when that was going to show up. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Now the question is how to get over there because it looks like this will make me slide down. I wonder if it's just as simple as... Oh, no. Ah, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Right there. Ah, I only have uh, the two right now. I need to probably respec. So, let's see, what do we want to get rid of? No, nah, we don't need the fire sword right now. We'll purchase that, and reset, and get four. Don't think we'll need to magnetize for this, but it's a possibility if need be. So, that goes there, that goes there. Whoa! Okay, that... Needs to come down just a little. There we go. Huh. Oh, that's right. I have some down below. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's go through, make sure all those are deleted. Because I forgot one slipped past, and that was counting towards my lot. Uh. Where was my brain? Okay. Jam down on there. One. Two, three, and a fourth one. Oh, mind your head. Wow, really? It looks like I am just missing that. Hmm. Wonder if I could cheat a little bit with the explosive barrel. <laughs> just get a little bit further. Really? You, you're not going to try to latch on to something there. Oh, there we go. A little slippery. Gotta watch out for that slippery slope. It'll get you every time. And the music's starting to pick up a little bit. Or something's gonna go, uh, happen here. Oh, ooh. Toasted my wizard a little bit. Let's switch to somebody that has a little bit more health. Oh. Ah. Dropping down is probably a bad idea right about now. Oh, hello. Hey, look, it's the wizard's wife again. <laughs> and these guys just don't get a, a shot in. And he's dead. Oh, that was simple enough. A little too simple, actually. <laughs> well, uh, I hear somebody just uh, popped up. Oh, there you are. Oh, wait. Need to reset that. Reset that. And fire arrows and the fire sword. Would help if I actually selected the fire arrows, though. Well, I guess that works. I was just trying to set the barrel next to him on fire. But, eh. It needs to be fancy. Alright, just wait for that to explode. Come on, explode. And thanks to their sweet time to explode in this game. Okay. More jumping. We'll go with the knight this time, I think. Oh. Ah. Perfect. And is it to the left or to the right? Ah. Uh,
Can I... Oh, wait. This is just a physical object. So it's... Hmm. We probably don't need to um, make use... Oh, yeah, we do have to make use of this because we probably have to go up there to uh, go around. This is probably a portion for the multiplayer to allow the other players to get through. Brute force. <laughs> oh, watch your head. Ah, need to get the hammer. I probably just throw it. There we go. A lot simpler. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, got caught by the boulder and I wasn't getting out of that one. At least I don't think I could have gotten out of that one. Huh. So I guess that's how I was actually supposed to solve that puzzle. Good to know. I guess this is an, another case of uh, the planks would have probably actually been the smarter move in the previous puzzle, now that I think about it. But I made it work nonetheless. And just to be sure, yeah, that's the that's a co-op part. I guess for drop-in, drop-out stuff. And it looks like we're going down. <laughs> Their demise now seeming certain, the heroes fell through the cold darkness of the caverns. Total blackness enveloped them like the jaws of some indescribable monster. Where was the trine now? Yes, where is your tron now? And I think it would have been a bit better if the bridge kind of dropped out from under him instead of, you know, him stupidly jumping to into the darkness. But that's just a level design uh, story thing, I think. So, ooh, lots of spider webs. Let's head to the left a little bit. Yeah, just seeing if they were hiding anything over there. This is going to be fun. I could not imagine trying to do that with a gamepad. Ooh, that's a giant spider. That's at least the second, maybe third largest spider I've ever seen in a video game. And I'm assuming stepping in something in that cave. And it's not rainbows and unicorns. No, it's a giant fucking spider. Oh yeah, going in front of that's a bad idea. Hmm. Wonder if I can lure it. Hmm. Come on. Does a box look tasty? Come on. Look at the delicious box. Okay. It was just seeing if I could lure it. Uh, it looks like we have to jump up. Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. More time platforming. Let's get another box so it's a little bit of an easier jump. And tear him so I get a little bit of a step up. Okay. Oh, that boulder. Oh. Feels like I'm in a night. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, really? And the. Uh, oh, thankfully the night was uh, past the boulder. That was complete and utter bullshit. Oh, yeah, I had no chance with the thief.
Oh, yeah, it's just another one of those cases where the physics doesn't feel like it's quite as well baked as it should, which makes me wonder just how well Tron 3 does, considering it's even more complex than this game. Because physics platformers, once you start to get beyond a level of complexity, start to uh, become finicky. I mean, I displayed that well. Oh, oh shit! Well enough with the portals in uh, an episode or two ago, where you drop in and uh, they'll actually bug out if you uh, have a certain uh, momentum, or at least it seemed like they would bug out. I'm not sure if that's a planned behavior for them or what, but yeah, oh, would help if I switch to the proper character. Ups a daisy. Yeah, hammer time. Ooh. Yeah, let's get the proper range character. Yeah, need one more shot. No, it's still alive. And he's falling back, so it's I'm having to make blind shots. Oh, what a pain in the ass that is. But yeah, I was talking about how the as the physics platformer gets more and more complex, it becomes a little bit more finicky, and yeah, this is a perfect example of that. Oh, look, a level up, and I have no idea what I want to use with it on. Yeah, once again, a move that I completely forgot from the previous game. Um... May want to try to get explosive arrows. Can I? Yeah, he has to have the... It's kind of strange that you need a frost shield for a fire sword, but... Uh, maybe it's a heat sink, I don't know. All I was wondering was the explosive arrows, but that doesn't work. Whoa. Once again, they put me right in the middle of danger. It's just not cool to spawn me exactly where I'm going to get killed. Or at least hurt in this case. I have a feeling fire arrows are not going to do anything to this guy. Oh. Run away. I don't see a health bar on this guy, so... There we go. And his little buddy took no tam uh, damage to die. Oh, that's one of these. Okay, we'll drop down, grab that. There's more experience over to the left. Need a hammer throw for that, though. Goodbye, hammer. Man, that was a big one. There we go. Okay. Let's... Hmm. Oh, there's a lever up there I need to throw. I bet this would be a fun puzzle in co-op. One of those puzzles that test friendships. Well move that over. Can I actually just ride in this? Yes, I can. Ew. No, I can't. Oh. Unless this... No, that doesn't blow it away. So, drop down. Oh, need to get some momentum going. And up and over. Oh, that was fun. What's this way? Oh. 
Mind the peg rocks. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there would be a plane over there, but it's actually over here. Yeah. I could not imagine trying to solve these puzzles with the gamepad. Because it, it just requires a little bit of more dexterity and quickness of motion that I think a gamepad would really provide. I don't know, maybe it's just, you know... I completely suck at using gamepads, which is an entirely po reasonable possibility. Because I do try to avoid them if I could, if I could help it. Oh, not like that. Ah. Okay, bounce. Okay, I can't get up there. What am I trying to even? Uh, that time I probably could have gotten up there, but. Okay, now let's progress. Bounce, bounce, and up. Simple. There's something up there. I just know it. Get up. Come on, you could do this. Hmm. Doesn't look like she really gets enough height for that. Let's see if the knight does any different. Nope. Whatever is up there is going to stay up there. Whoa. S uh, slip and slide, really. I mean, damn. Oh, boy. Okay. Is there anything in here? No, just a little bit of experience. Nice effect, uh, and for the water at least. In the level? Yeah, that was quick enough. While in the caverns, Pontius had picked up some mushrooms, but Zoya and Amadeus persuaded him not to eat them. Amadeus recalled a time when he had made a mushroom potion in his school days. Indeed, that had not ended well. As the heroes climbed out of the caverns, they met with the first light of morning. And that's why Pontius never learned the fireball spell. He was on shrooms during class. Figures. Uh, but it does answer a few questions. <laughs> And raises uh, more than a few more. But let's go ahead and wrap things up here. A little bit of a short episode, but I think ending a cha uh, at the end of the chapter is probably for the best. Besides, for once, I didn't completely and utterly suck in an episode. Well, not completely suck, at least. So if you like the uh, video, be sure to hit the like button. It does help me out quite a bit. Or comment and, and, or, and or subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and do all that sort of fun things because, like I said, it does help me out quite a bit. And striking my ego doesn't help. Or, yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt. Oh, maybe I'm the one on the mushroom potion. <laughs> oh. uh, until next time. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll try to stay away from the mushrooms.